A Chattanooga chef wants to blaze a trail. In recognition of Black History Month, Angela Kim shares his impact locally and beyond. Growing up, you know, uh, people eat breakfast, they talk about lunch. <laughs> eat lunch, they talk about dinner. Kenyatta Ashford grew up in New Orleans. That's where his love for food started through family. The care that my mother always put into making sure we were fed very well is one of the reasons why, probably the primary reason why, I decided to become a chef. And it fuel, fuels my passion to be able to take care of people. Ashford took his passion all over, attending the Culinary Institute of America, competing and winning Chopped on the Food Network, and opening Neutral Grounds Chattanooga. Very reflective of uh, regional cuisine and also of the story of the African diaspora uh, and the range that it holds in the food ways of, of the Americas. Ashford became determined to incorporate the meals his mother made with African history across the Americas. Enslaved people came from West Africa all through the Americas, whether it be the Caribbean, uh, South America, Central America, and the American South. Now he's cooking up a new way to help black chefs achieve their goals and realize their dreams. When it comes to chefs in Chattanooga that do that, there aren't any that are of color. He hopes his ingredients for success won't just stretch across Chattanooga, but also across the country. I want to, with our business, you know, make a way for people like myself and others, you know, who uh, desire to follow in that pursuit of, you know, making a way for themselves in a fine dining space. Ashford hopes to not just make a difference for black chefs, but for everyone's taste buds in the process. I want them uh, to feel the, uh, the love that I felt when I was 9 or 10 uh, when I ate that meal at the kitchen table with my mother. Reporting in Chattanooga, Angela Kim, Local 3 News. Thank you, Angela. Ashford started working out of proof in 2019. He'll stay there until June this year, but says there are plans to move into his own new building, and we wish him well.